Insect populations across the world have been falling at a fast rate. Yes, they have. Meteorologist Bill Ray tells us why and the impact that may have. Blood sucking mosquitoes, bee stings, biting fire ants. People are often pestered by insects. But what if insects became extinct? I don't want to lose insects because um, sometimes they're really helpful, like honey. Honeybees, um, they'll produce honey. We would have uh, very little in, in the way of agricultural production without pollination services through insects. So uh, bee decline, wasp decline, fly decline, uh, these, are, these are seriously um, uh, alarming statistics for uh, human uh, food production. Entomologist Jason Krein is familiar with the recent study on the worldwide decline in insect populations, and he has a theory on the main reasons why. So the use of more land and more chemicals in the food production, large-scale agricultural productions, uh, certainly habitat loss. Crying also is convinced that our ever-changing climate is also a factor. The effects of, of global climate change are, uh, are certainly demonstrated as a main driver of, of, human, of uh, insect decline. One of the most noticeable insects that you might not notice as much anymore, butterflies, right? The monarch butterfly, they say, is down 75 to 85 percent in population in the United States just in the last 10 years. Other things that seem to have diminished over the years? It's seeing moths at your lights on the porch and, and seeing fireflies and seeing uh, butterflies in the daytime um, driving down the road and having to clean off your windshield from the insects. Sarah Goldstein is too young to notice these changes, but insects have inspired her. I just want to become a scientist. Oh, wow, because of insects? Yeah. Maybe she will be the one to come up with solutions to saving the insect population. Bill Ray, CBS 17 News, Raleigh. That's